the resources file in Deltek Cobra can be developed as a simple list or a more complex hierarchy of resources. In this article, I'm going to walk you through some of the options for creating a hierarchy within your resource list. Because many of you create your Cobra resource file using a spreadsheet to load the various resources, you will typically start out with a simple list. However, you may want a more sophisticated hierarchy to be developed for your resources. This has a number of advantages. For a start, it's easier to find resources when they're organized into different types, such as labor, material, or other direct costs. A resource hierarchy also has the advantage of allowing you to arrange resources that do not have a calculation associated with them below a parent resource that does. This allows Cobra to use the parent resource calculations to develop a cost for resources that do not themselves have calculation data associated with them. The problem with creating a resource hierarchy is that it is basically impossible to do after the fact using the standard interface. If you manually entered your resources using the interface, you could specify parent and child resources. However, this is a rather slow way of entering resource data, and therefore most users opt for using the integration wizard method. The good news is you can load hierarchy after the fact using the integration wizard too. In this example, we will demonstrate how to do this and superimpose a hierarchy into an existing simple list of Cobra resources. So, let's start with an example of a simple list of resources that have calculations but no hierarchy. We wish to organize this list into labor, subcontractor, material, equipment, and ODC elements. To do this, we are going to export these resources into a spreadsheet using the Export Resources report found in the All Reports tab. We run the Export Resources report in the normal way using the report wizard. The next step is to modify the report in readiness to re-import it and build our hierarchy. First, we delete column A as we don't need the resource file entry. Next, we're going to select and delete all the threshold fields to the right of the parent field. Again, these are unnecessary for our purposes. We can even delete the element of cost field, as at the time of filming this, you are not able to import the element of cost values. According to Deltek, this ability will be available in a future release of Cobra. With just three columns left in our spreadsheet, we're going to use these resource description and parent fields to build our hierarchy. We will now insert additional rows at the top of the file and enter the parent headings for labor, subcontractor, material, equipment, and ODC resource categories. Next, we populate the parent column with these values as needed for each of the listed resources. Finally, we save this file and return to Cobra. The next step in the process is to use the integration wizard to load this resource hierarchy into our resource file. The key to success here is to make sure we choose the resources option in the what type of data are you importing field in the file selection dialog of the integration wizard. Having successfully performed the integration with our resource hierarchy spreadsheet, we will now see that hierarchy in our Cobra resources file. You can see the parent labor, subcontractor, material, equipment, and ODC parent headers listed at the top of the resource file. We can now drill down on each of the parents to see the resources organized below. So there you have it, folks, a reasonably quick and easy way to load a hierarchy where previously we had only a simple list of resources.